If you're starting to explore web development, you probably have seen a bunch of terms being thrown around, front-end, back-end, and full-stack. But what does it actually mean? What you learn is there are many types of developers out there, and while they differ greatly in their responsibilities, they all use coding languages to carry out their job. The three major types of developers are front-end, back-end, and full-stack developers. Each type of coder deals with a specific type of work. However, all of these fields are equally important in making a website function. And we'll explain exactly why in this video. Let's start with the front-end developers. Front-end developers use coding languages such as JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and React to build interactive websites. This means that whatever the user sees and touches on the web page, that piece of code was built by a web developer. Front-end web developers are also known as the client-side programmers, and they're perhaps the most design-oriented out of the three. A front-end coder is responsible for everything that a website user sees and interacts with. They program all of the interactive features like modals, drop-down navigation, and sections on each of the pages. In the United States, these skilled and creative programmers make an average salary of about 78,000 annually, but the exact pay varies based on the employer and the region. The primary coding languages used by these developers are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's talk about the backend developers. Their job is to ensure that the website runs correctly. Without these programmers, the front end of the website would have no way to exchange information with the servers. It would essentially be a pretty picture that doesn't have any function. Backend developers must work closely with the front end team to form a complete website. Think of the last time you entered a password and a username on a website. The logic that validated that you are who you are and ensure that you have the correct password is written by backend developers. In the United States alone, backend developers earn an average salary of 80,000. This is slightly higher than the average front-end coder's salary because server-side work often involves increased complexity. The coding languages used by the backend developers include languages like Ruby, Node, Python, and sometimes you'll even hear languages like .NET and Java. So let's jump to the third type, the full-stack developer. Full-stack developers combine the skills of both the front-end and the back-end coder, making them the jack-of-all-trades of a web development field. Full-stack developers are multifaceted programmers with a wide range of web development skill sets. They perform the full range of website building, including both the front-end and the back-end work. To do so, Full stack coders must learn all of the coding languages used by both front end and back end developers. Companies view these programmers as enormously valuable, as businesses can hire one person or a group of people to manage its entire website operations. In addition to high salary, full stack developers enjoy a host of job opportunities due to their wide range of skills. This is a very popular field for coding bootcamp students to choose due to its versatility. As a full-stack web developer, students can choose a path in either front-end or back-end development. In the United States, these coders make an average of 82,000 annually. Experienced coders often break the 100,000 mark. These roles also keep you constantly learning technologies on both the front-end and the back-end, and you keep improving your skills and if you keep doing that, it's unlikely you'll ever be bored. And finally, you must be wondering, how do you become a web developer? There are a few proven ways to become a web developer today. The traditional route involves college, internships, and sometimes additional programmer training. This route takes between four and six years to complete, depending on the individual's factors. But unlike many other traditional career paths, there is more than one way to launch your career in tech as a front-end or back-end developer. Since there is a huge demand for qualified web developers, as a result, many employers are open to candidates from alternative educational backgrounds. Tech companies realize the value of specialized and dedicated programmers and job training programs called coding bootcamps come in to fill the void. These programs are an excellent option for people looking to switch careers 
and become software engineers in less than 12 to 18 months. Instead of four expensive years at a university, you can learn how to code in a rigorous program in less than 12 months. These courses range from three to six months for full-time students and eight to 12 months for those who wanna go part-time. The best part about these job training programs is that many of them now offer income sharing, which means that you don't have to pay until you're employed and making a minimum salary. These schools now employers have a big need and they're willing to take a risk on you and wait for you to get paid before they get paid. If you found this video helpful, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel, and leave your question in the comments below. My team and I will personally answer your questions and provide helpful tips on how to break into tech and become a web developer. Let's break in.